Getting ready to get back to school involves much more than buying school supplies. There's also keeping your emotions in check. Let's talk about the back to school jitters and ways parents can calm them with our friend, mental toughness expert, Eric Rittmeyer. So, Eric, I mean, I know you've sent kids off to school, and I bet even a tough, tough Marine like you, it melts you into a puddle when they walk out that door. I tell you what, Jim, this is the first year I don't have grade school kids anymore. I have two daughters, they're 18 and 20. It never got any easier. I tell you, watching them walk out that door. But, you know, as parents, we can prepare them. I think the most important thing we can do is help them to recognize that their feelings are okay. 100% of their feelings are okay. Let's just give them tips and tools for how to guide those emotions in a positive way. All right, you have something that is called the three ends strategy. What is that? Yeah, this is name, normalize, and navigate. And what I mean by this is, number one, we name the emotion. I refer to this as like a, an emotional vocabulary, a way for them to label their emotions. Then we normalize it. We help them to understand that 100% of their feelings are okay. Happiness, sadness, anger, anxiety, everything's okay. Every one of them's okay. And then we just help them navigate it. This is how we handle it. When we feel this way, it's our body telling us something. This is how we approach it. This is how we use it. And this is how we use it constructively for positive outcomes you know when when i would come home from school as a young kid and you know my parents would say how was your day at school it was always the same question and i always gave the same answer which was just like i didn't do anything or you know how was it it was fine uh what are some of the questions that parents can ask their kids and, and how do you gauge which questions to ask and when yeah, this is real important, Jim, because I think, you know, as a parent, the, the gut instinct is when our child doesn't answer questions or when our child doesn't do their homework or when our child doesn't want to get out of bed, we automatically assume that they're just doing something to be defiant or they don't want to listen to us. It could be deeper. We have to dig deeper. We have to ask more questions. Them not wanting to do their homework might be that they don't understand their homework. Them not wanting to wake up in the morning might be that they're fearful of going to school. Help them to recognize that the feeling's okay. I appreciate it. I respect it. Let them know that it's okay to feel it but we have to talk to them we have to make certain that we stay on that level with and, them and, and look i mean we've talked we've talked with you before on our air about really how times have changed and, and yes there are times are a little more complicated and and sometimes we coddle kids a little too much but still there is there is an emotional value that we invest in uh, how do you how do you keep your kids grounded in reality when it comes to entering this new frontier yeah, th this is a great point as well. You know, I think as parents, we try to protect our kids. We don't want them to feel any pain, physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. We do the best we can to keep them from that because we want to protect them. But ultimately, what we need to do is we need to help them with these coping mechanisms because life isn't easy. We have to help them to understand how to accept an opposing point of view, how to push through something when they feel uncomfortable, communicate with them, listen to them, listen with the intent to truly understand when they're talking, let them know that we're hearing what they're saying, let them know that we've experienced it as well. Eric Rittmeyer is author of The Emotional Marine, and if he looks familiar to you, he's also the, uh, plays a Baltimore City police major, and we own this city on <laughs> HBO, right? You're the man, Jim. I sure did. Bald head and all. I had an awesome time. <laughs> you do it all. Eric, good to see you again. Likewise, Jim. Thanks for having me, buddy. Our pleasure. All right, man. <laughs> Let's talk about exercising.